Well, hello everyone. We're back here with something amazing. So, we have a time-honored tradition of, uh, of doing stupid things at the last minute, and this is by far cutting it as close as we have ever done it. Uh, we finished this during SDW2. During Steam World Dig 2, we finished Super Mario Bros. 2. So, this is not how it's supposed to happen, but sometimes you have last minute inspiration. Let's call it that. I have with me here a cool kid who apparently runs this game. Um, yeah. I, right. I don't know as if you're going to be as useful as you think you might be, I'm afraid. Uh, because the typical strategies that would, you would employ are not quite the direction this is going to go in. All right, so brace yourselves. We are going to try this in three, two, one, go. Hey, it's Toad. It seems normal thus far. Okay. It seems normal. Yeah. This is how I would play it, too. Perfect door landing. Oh. Let's see where it diverges from your normal route. Oh, oh. Oh, it's going... Uh? He's, he's speechless. <laughs> he's shaking his head. What? Uh... Wait, what? <laughs> okay, well. Did Discord take over? Um, did Discord take over? Well, uh, we're about to find out. Uh, give me a second here to run this script. And. Why? Yes, it did. If you would like to be on stream right now, head over to discord.tas.bot. Please accept our terms of service, which is basically our rules that say, don't cuss on our stream. We'll be very angry at you. Come on in, discord.tas.bot. We have, in fact, connected a Nintendo Entertainment System to Discord. Hey, Discord, I believe you had a challenge for that a few days ago. How's this? <laughs> uh, as, as you might not know, uh, Discord set out a challenge and said, make a Discord client for the strangest thing you can think of. And Vigre Tech answered the call happily, tacked on a payload that was made by Total. So the, the run you actually just saw was worked out by Total, who found an arbitrary code ex uh, exploit. Um, we've actually now reached a point where uh, it seems to have buffered. I am. I, I can see that chat is no longer appearing on my screen, like as if my Wi-Fi has dropped out. Uh, um, I, I still I still see tons of people joining. Um, I'm going to close the script and restart and see what terrible things happen. Let's see if it reconnects. I'm, it's like as if my Wi-Fi has dropped off. <laughs> come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. I'm just glad that we actually got something on screen and in some ways this might be a blessing in disguise because who knows who's dropping what foul language on here <laughs> um all i can tell you is it worked and now it's not uh i'm just glad it got this far i'm gonna stop here before something else very badly breaks uh i can tell you that this does in fact work it is real this is legit uh input you can go back to our discord logs and see this yourself huge credit to the moss 3212 who made the actual computer side of the discord client uh, Onosaurus, who made the replay device. Micro 500, who made this. Hey! Oh, here we go. Oh, boy. It, I, we, we might have flooded off. The, it's there, but it's looking pretty rough. <laughs> also, it seems to have managed to screen roll in a way I'm not expecting, so that's fun. Um, this is not the first time we might have put weird chat on a Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Last time it was a Super Nintendo. Uh, a couple quick notes. We're using only assets inside of Super Mario Bros. 2. Every character you see here is from Super Mario Bros. 2. They are in the game uh, character RAM for showing letters on screen for various different things, like uh, select level 1-1, uh, level one, one, so on and so forth. Uh, this is a pretty impressive reuse of assets. We wrote this entire payload onto the cartridge itself because Super Mario Bros. 2 doesn't have any battery back save, but it does. The cartridge itself has 8K of SRAM that could be battery backed up if they wanted to, and we sort of took advantage of that as our little playground. 8K is enough 
space to do this and many, many, many more things. So stay tuned for more what we call arbitrary code execution silliness at some point in the future. I think we have broken this about as much as I want to try. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank everyone who made it possible. We're now at $61,195. Uh, That's a pretty impressive total considering what we started at. The, what was the starting? How much have we raised already? I believe that's almost about 3,000. That's impressive considering how short this has been. <laughs> I'm leaving out a huge number of people uh, in my Discord. Uh, by all means, feel free. If you have any interest in tool-assisted speedruns in themselves, go to taskvideos.org. If you have an interest in TaskBot stuff, you can go to task.bot. Join us at discord.task.bot at any time. It's a fantastic community. You're going to love it there. I'm going to stop here because I'm, just, I'm way out of sleep and not in the right time zone, and I'll just keep rambling. So let's get on to the next thing. Thank you so much.